What is happening ladies and gentlemen, it's TG Smooth and welcome back to another Ark Survival Evolved video. So today we're going to be going over all of the artifact locations on the Ragnarok map and the way I got this set up is the first thing you're going to see is the map location and what artifact. If you need to just pause that and the arrow is going to pretty much show you the general direction. Uh, you need to be in and then once we get to that artifact I'm gonna give you guys an overview of the cave entrance show you some landmarks then I'm gonna land give you the grid coordinates of the actual cave location and then actually walk you through the cave now I will be using admin commands and that way it just makes recording a lot easier but when you see dinos or anything like that any traps I'll let you guys know to the best of my knowledge so anyways, I hope this video helps you out. Um, it takes a, a huge, huge amount of time to put all this together, guys. So I hope you enjoy it. If you do, please don't forget to show your support and like and share the crap out of this video. And if you're new to the channel and you do like the content, feel free to subscribe down below as well. But anyways, guys, we're going to jump right into this and let's get started. Alright, so for the Artifact of the Brute, we're going to start over by Red Obelisk towards the ocean, and we'll be uphill a little bit, but you can see kind of like the stream running into like this underground cavern, that's where we're going to be going, so let's go ahead and land really fast, and I'll give you a GPS coordinate. Okay, so... We are at 34.2, I believe, lat and 78.8 long, and this is the cave entrance or whatever you want to call it. We're just going to head straight down this path. There's going to be like a little land bridge. We're going to cross right about here, and then we're just going to hug this left side of the wall. You'll kind of see like a light in the background, and that's the direction you want to head. Just jump down here, and there is the artifact of the brute. So for the next artifacts, which is going to be Massive, Devious, and Clever, we're going to head over to Life's Labyrinth, which is in the desert on the eastern side of the map. And you can see right here, it's right next to this big, huge rock wall. You can't miss it. And then down below, there are going to be smaller rock formations. And it's going to be the one right below us, uh, right on the base of the mountain. So let's go ahead and fly down there real fast. And I'll give you guys a GPS coordinates, but you are going to need several things for this cave. One being a shoulder mount, and another one being a torch, and some pretty decent, well, a, a flamethrower would be useful. You are going to run into some bats, but I am going to be using admin commands, so um, probably won't see that. Anyways, this cave location is at 51.6 lat and 77.5 long. And let's go ahead and squat down here <clears throat> and then crawl through that so you can see where I have a shoulder mount already but we're gonna want to go through these cobwebs right here be careful there is like a floor trap when you first get in so just run past that and this room's gonna have a bunch of buttons in it we're gonna have to push them in order and able to uh, get to the next area so the first one that you want to hit is right here on the left hand side of those traps and then this is where I'm gonna type in and cheat and fly for a little bit guys because this it, it takes a long time to get used to these jumps and stuff so until then yeah <laughs> it would be a really long video if I didn't do this so you just wanna keep going straight and around this wall right here you're gonna come across two switches you don't wanna hit either one of those but you do wanna jump like up on that ledge and then on top of the buttons to get over here and this is the button you want to press so once you press that all you have to do is jump on the there over the there and onto the button to get back out of there and then back down to where we were so we're headed back towards the beginning right now you can see the spike traps right there we're just gonna head straight from here make it left and there's gonna be two buttons we're gonna hit the one on the right hand side and let's go ahead and do that and then as soon as we turn, there's going to be one right in front of us near this little rock pile. You want to go ahead and hit that one. Now, to get to the next one, you're going to have to jump up on that button and then get on top of this wall and kind of shimmy it over here. You'll see there's some ledges. 
You want to jump up on those ledges to get up to this corner and then from here ignore that switch and jump across these pillars all the way to the, like the center platform and then you're going to want to go to this box right back here and this is going to be where your last button's at as soon as you hit that if you've done it correctly this little floor should open up and you just want to continue to go down in there now i will hit this water so i can show you guys this next part i will have to be walking but once we get up to this door straight in front of us um, there's gonna be a room and if you mess it up you're, you're gonna get caught on fire and it's insta death so um, what you want to do is when you once you get semi close to that wall it's gonna start opening up uh, inside that room you're gonna need to be in the prone you have to stay in the prone you can't touch any rock piles like this or any of the statues or else you're gonna die um, but you've been warned so here goes let's see if we can get this uh, just run up to the wall Go ahead and get down in the prone I don't know if you have to wait until like you're at this part exactly but there's gonna be a button over on this left wall you're just gonna want to push it and then as soon as you push it you're gonna want to make your way towards that back door you just seen open up um, being careful once again not to touch any of these rocks or statues or anything like that um, so that was the door slamming behind me in case you were wondering and it is time so uh, you can see right there I wasn't fast enough I would have to crawl back and do this but where we have cheats enabled I'm just gonna run across there um, you guys can see the fire so once we hit that we're just gonna want to go to this door and then another jump puzzle so for this one if you do fall down don't worry you're not gonna die you can get back up here um, but you're gonna want to hit this button right here and once again we're gonna enable fly that way I can show you guys exactly what to do it's going to open up. You're going to want to get on this left hand side of the wall and this is where it's going to begin. You pretty much just want to jump your way through all these platforms um, being careful not to fall down obviously but it is a pain and then somewhere along these walls I believe over on this side is like a smoke trap somewhere so just be cautious of that. Alright and then <laughs> Yeah, I hope you have a lot of movement speed to, to make these, or maybe that Archaeopateri would help um, with this part, but if you continue this along towards the end, you're going to see a drop down below, so if you do fall down there, make sure to check for that, um, and then you're just going to jump across those pillars and head this direction. There's going to be one switch on the wall, you just want to push it. And this door is going to open up. Now there's going to be like little spares and stuff that shoot out, out of the walls in this room up here. Um, if you stick to the middle, that's the most dangerous spot. To left and right, you should be good. So let's go ahead and cross that. And there will be some bats in this um, labyrinth as well. Right about now, exactly. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and clear those out really fast. So once you clear those bats out, you can proceed straight and you're going to come into a room with a container in it. Uh, if you get close to this container, arrows are going to shoot you. So the best way to do it is just to kind of get close and then back off of it. But the next button we're looking for is on this left hand side of the wall right at this corner. We're going to go ahead and push it and then the center door is going to open and we're going to proceed through here. You're going to come across another two buttons left and right and we're gonna choose the right one right and that's gonna open up that door so this is where you really need to pay attention at this can get pretty confusing and you can get lost in here pretty easily so there's gonna be three buttons we wanna hit the center one once we do that we're gonna ignore that first button and hit the second one on the right it's gonna open the door in front of us Inside is going to be two more buttons. We're going to want to hit the one on the left. That's going to open the door behind us. And then two more buttons. We're going to want to hit the one on the right. And that's just door shutting behind me in case you're wondering. And then we're going to come across three buttons. We want to hit the center one. That's going to open the doorway behind us. And then we're going to ignore that one and continue up here a little bit there are going to be enemies in these caves so be careful and then we're going to push that button and then turn around it's going to be right here where these guys were 
and I'm just going to go ahead and ignore them, fly over them. But we're going to proceed through this cavern right here, and there's going to be a hole in the floor. You want to fall down through that hole and continue to go forward. Uh, there is going to be another hole in the floor right here. I believe you can fall down this one. Uh, it's not like a death pit, but it would be really hard getting out of there if at all possible. And then we're going to come across our first artifact, and this is the artifact of the clever. So once you get the artifact of the clever, you just want to continue to go straight. And all the way down this hallway into the store. Alright, so once this door opens, you're going to come across the room with two statues inside of it, one with a dodo and one with a human, and this is where you're going to need your shoulder mount. You can see I already got one in here waiting for me, so I'm going to go ahead and pick this guy up, and this is where you're going to want to throw your shoulder mount into this well, and go ahead and do that like so. It will set on fire, and then this left side will open. It is going to kill your dino, which really sucks. And this is where you're going to need a torch at. It's going to be like pitch black in here, guys. So, um, <laughs> really need a torch for this part unless you, like, are Einstein and, like, I, I don't know, could figure it out on your own. Um, but anyways, there, I, I don't, I believe there's a few traps through here. I, I can't hear them going off, and that's what I'm going off of. But we're going to want to continue straight. This is going to be, like, the part with the most bats in it and where your flamethrower is going to come in handy. I'm going to ignore them for now. I'll just clear them out um, later and do some editing magic, but we're going to want to continue straight. It's just a straight shot from here. There's no left, right, and until you hit this button, go up here, push this button, and it's going to open up this door. I'm going to go ahead and clear out these bats real quick before we continue, so Right, so with the bats cleared out, we can now proceed, and it's going to take us into a room that has trees. It looks like, you know, the regular wilderness, and right now, we don't have the wall up, but if there was a wall right there, and you guys probably know what I'm talking about, it would block you from getting those artifacts. All you would have to do is shoot some of these animals, and then you're going to hear, like, a wolf howl. As soon as the wolf howls, you'll see, like, spare animals coming out. And you're just going to have to keep killing them. They'll, they'll increase with uh, level all the way up to 250. Once you kill like a couple of level 250 animals, then the, the wall will clear out. And you can go ahead and come over here and grab the rest of the artifacts. And this is going to be the artifact of the devious and the artifact of the massive. And that's, yeah, that's pretty much it. So... We'll go ahead and grab them really fast, and then to get out of here, guys, all you want to do is follow this right wall when you turn around, and you can kind of see, like, that's what the, the wall would look like if it was blocking the artifacts, but it looks like it's blocking the exit, so I would have to clear out, um, do this anyways just to get out of here, but I'll, I'll go ahead and show you guys, because once you drop down in this path, it's just a straight shot. And it will lead you outside into like one of those different rock formations, pretty close to where our mounts are going to be. But yeah, you just fall straight down through there and just continue straight and you'll get out of here. So that's it for this cave, guys. So for the artifact of the Sky Lord, we're going to be returning to Life's Labyrinth, which once again is in the desert. If you're having a hard time following it, Really all you need to do is locate Red Obelisk on the east side of the map and then follow that eastern shoreline until you come across the desert and then the first thing you'll see once you turn around or look to the right is this giant cliffside and the rock formation that's closest to the cliffside is the one you're looking for and we'll go ahead and fly down there. I'll give you guys another grid coordinates but if you have already watched the part for the artifact of the clever massive and devious then you can go ahead and skip forward through this part until we hit the room with the big giant flame statue um but anyways you are gonna need a scuba tank uh some scuba flippers wouldn't hurt and also you're gonna need another shoulder mount 
And this cave location is at 51.6 lat and 77.5 long. All right, let's go ahead and do this. So this first part's gonna be the same, like I said. Uh, if you did watch the other ones, you can go ahead and skip forward to that room. But if you're just now watching this one, all right, so once you get inside, you're gonna find this door with cobwebs. Right at this door is gonna be spike traps. Just be careful to avoid them. And in this room are gonna be a bunch of buttons you gotta hit in order. And I'm just gonna go ahead and enable um, fly and that way I can do this a lot easier but I'll explain the process to you guys as I go <clears throat> all right so the first one you want to hit is when you enter the room turn around it's gonna be on the left hand side you're gonna want to go this way make a right then make a left and another left right here are gonna be some ledges you want to jump up on those onto this one onto those buttons and over the wall this is your next button that you want to hit all right to get out you would just jump from here to there on top of the button and over the wall all right once we land we're just going to want to go the back the way we came past the entrance up here to this wall make a left there's going to be two buttons we want to hit the one on the right turn around the next button is going to be right by this rock pile we want to go ahead and hit it you're going to jump from this rock pile to this button on up to this wall and then follow it around to the left and keep following it to the left jump up along that ledge right there to that corner all the way across here to this pillar on over to the next pillar and then to this little box right here this is going to be the last button that we need to push once you push these if you did it correctly this center part will open you only have a little bit of time, so make sure you get there in a decent amount of time. And for the most part, all of these doors are going to be timed, so just keep that in mind as we go throughout this. Alright, so up here you are going to come across the room with the flame statue. Now, you don't want to touch any pile of rubble or any of the statues inside there, and you have to be in the prone position. So you. You have to be all the way down crawling <laughs> um, to be able to make it through here safely. So once you get close enough, this door is going to start opening up. All right, and you can pretty much go up to this part right here, get down in the prone. So unlike last time, we're not going to hit the button directly left to us. We're going to go ahead and crawl towards the big statue in the center of the room. All right, and pretty much we just want to get under this guy's armpit. <laughs> So that's just the door closing behind me. We don't want to hit this button. Let me go back into first person. All right, like so, and then bam, hit that button right there. Just turn around, it's gonna open this left-hand door, and then we can just book it through there. All right, so for this part, I, it is handy to have a flashlight. There are some dark areas down here, but if you don't, that's fine. All right, and we're gonna go down here, just straight down, and you'll you'll see the little glowing plants. Just pretty much what you're gonna do is follow them, and keep going downwards. I'm not wearing flippers that way. I can just take you guys through this part, nice and slowly. There are gonna be drop locations down here around this area right here. If you go to the left, you can check, or right directly underneath this if you turn around up here. But you'll see the staircase, that's how you'll know you're going in the right direction. Right there's the drop. And then you're just going to want to hook to the right and follow these plants. And then you're going to start swimming upwards from here. You'll know you're going in the right direction when you see the other set of stairs. And the plants at the top of them. Okay, so we're going to make a right now and then swim towards the top, towards these like little slabs. And we're almost home free, Johnny. <clears throat> right, so this brings us to the next area. And this is where I'm going to start typing in more admin sheets, guys. And this way I can just show you kind of where all the dinos spawn. But without having to take the time to kill them. So 
Let's go ahead and type this in really fast. And I'm sorry, my voice is a little scratchy from doing this video. Um, talking so much. It, it does take a lot of work. Um, I'm not going to lie. It's, it's taken a lot of try to learn these uh, the way I do to, to get these videos going. So anyways, we're just wanna go, going to want to proceed straight. <laughs> Something. I, I don't know. I'm out of it right now, guys. But yeah, this is where enemies will fall. You'll need to kill them before you proceed. And then just hug this left side of the wall until you get around to the switch. And you're going to want to hit that button right there. And it's going to open the door right behind you. There's going to be a way to the right and straight. We want to keep straight. And there are plenty of traps through here that's going to fall through the ceiling, like smoke traps and bombs. So just be careful to avoid those. I'm going to try to set them off so you guys can see them, though. And right there, whoo, I almost did it, but there is a hole in the floor um, that you can fall down and die in as well. So you just want to continue straight until you get to these three doors right here. Two in front of you, one on the right. You're going to want to hit that center button. And once again, kill the dinos uh, before you go in this room. You don't want to go in this room with dinosaurs chasing you. And then you're going to want to hit the button on the left and then on the right. Also, if you take your time in this room, you will get stuck. This door will close behind you eventually, and neither of those two buttons open that. So um, once you hit those two buttons, this door will open. You just want to go out and run through it really quick. And then there's going to be a button on your left-hand side. You're just going to want to push that, run forward, hit this button. There are going to be traps that are falling, and that's going to open this door. There's going to be three buttons on the wall. You want to hit the one on the middle, then left, and then right, and then run back the way you came. And I'm sorry, I you have to do this fast or else it's not going to work. Once you get up here, you'll see that door opening. You want to hit the button on the right, ignore that one, and then hit the one on the left. You're going to notice this is very familiar. But once you get out of here, you're just going to want to run. Um, and there are going to be ads that spawn up here, right about here. You're going to want to either kill them really fast, or if you don't have the capabilities of killing them really fast, just try to run past them. All right. Because this area is timed, you're just going to want to run through the smoke, and this door is going to open up. You want to hurry up and get inside there before that closes. And there's plenty of dinos that will chase you as you can see all right so that door will close so you can see in a relatively short amount of time um the next area are going to have like trank darts that shoot from the ceiling so just be cautious of those for the most part you can just run by them but you're going to want to see this um, pillar on the left hand wall look to the right of it and push that button and you just want to haul balls through here at this point, being careful not to get hit by these arrows until you make it into the next room. So from here, we're just going to hang a right, keep following this long hallway. And this part is the jumping part, and it's pretty annoying. I'm going to go ahead and once again enable fly. You guys are just going to have to jump across here. Or if you're on like a cross server and you have the climbing picks or ability to make them, uh, you can just climb the wall straight in front of us. But besides that, you will have to jump across here. You're going to have to time it perfectly and able to do it. But you can take damage from the spikes. It's, it's not an insta-kill. And then you're going to make your way across to this next area. It's going to be another straight shot. And you just want to jump your way across this little puzzle. <laughs> Ark and their jump puzzles. Jumping puzzles were not meant for this game. I, I, I gotta admit that. Until you reach this next area, there's a drop location here. There is nothing down that way. Um, and then you'll come across this area. You want to jump across it again. Or use climbing picks at the very end. This wall over here. And just climb your way up. And I promise, we're getting close, guys. We're almost done. Um, yeah, so you're, you're going to ignore those buttons. And then we're going to go back to walk so we can do this faster. All 
Okay. And then just run down these stairs and right to the left is the artifact of the Sky Lord. We'll go ahead and grab that and then we're going to proceed straight. This door will open automatically and it's going to take you into the room with two statues that have a dodo and a human. You're going to have to provide a sacrifice and we already got one down here so let's go ahead and do it. Oh, so close. All right. On to the next part. So this left part's gonna open then, and you will need a torch for this area. If you don't have a torch, it's gonna be completely pitch black, and it's not gonna be a whole lot of fun through here. But you would go up here, make a right, your first right, and then continue to proceed straight. There are going to be bats throughout this, so if you have a flamethrower handy, but you're just going to want to run straight until you hit that wall. There's going to be a button on the left hand side. Let's go ahead and take care of these guys real fast. Oh no, I can't do that. Okay, so you don't, if you are going through this with admin commands, you cannot destroy wild dinos right there. If you do, these guys will not respawn in here. So just a heads up, um, trial and error has been learned. But once you get inside this room, there's going to be a wolf that howls. And there's going to be spirit animals that come out. Alright, I'm going to probably have to spawn in some ammo really fast. But um, I'm going to go ahead and explain it and then clear them out because it is going to take a little bit. But there's going to be these spirit animals that come out. You just want to keep killing them. It's going to be dire bears and wolves. And, well, the bats are just doing the job for me. Um, but once you kill them, they're going to keep spawning and increase in difficulty as you go. It will go from, like, 50 to 100, 150, 200, then 250. So after you clear out the last remaining level 250 uh, wolves and bears, this area will open and then you can go ahead and grab the other two artifacts if you haven't done a run through for the artifact of the clever. So this is going to be the artifact of the devious and the artifact of um, massive. Yeah, I had a brain fart right there. But anyways, to get out, you just want to follow that wall. This barrier is removed now since we ended up killing those. And then fall down here. Whee! Splish. There's water down there, so you don't have to worry about taking damage. And then you just want to proceed out straight. And then I will actually go through this part this time because on the last video I didn't show um where you come out at so i might as well go ahead and do that real fast right so this wall is going to open up right here all right <laughs> a lot of a lot of crouching to do guys and there's like the cave exit lag all right and then we just want to continue forward it's just one big straight shot <laughs> and then outside once you do get to this part you're gonna to have to go prone again all right and then we should be able to book it out of here and then back to where you started is just over to the right and it's at that rock formation if you just go around to the other side you'll see your mounts or whatever you came in with so that's it for this one guys all right so for this artifact we're going to be heading to the northern mid part of the map and you can see right there is blue obelisk if you just follow the shoreline all the way up to this rock formation the cave is right below right there you can also see the castle in the background as well as red obelisk over that way so it's on the back of this hillside over here all right so let's go ahead and go down and of course I'll give you guys a grid cord and that way you can know where to go now you might want to bring a torch for this cave 
it's definitely going to come in handy, but the cave entrance is at 17.5 lat and 42.6 long. All right, and I do have admin cheats and cave flyers enabled, so I don't know if you're going to be able to fly through this cave. However, I'm going to do it just for time's sake. And I will let you guys know if you're on console to walk through the beginning of this part. If you do bring a flyer in here, if you um, are an admin, it, it has a chance of lagging you out uh, at this beginning part. So just be cautious right there. It's really a pain in the ass too. Alright, so once we go inside this cave, it's just going to be a big long open hallway at first. And we're just going to keep going straight and make the first left right here once we make that left you're gonna see like um yeah uh, opening right straight in front of you you're gonna want to head towards that and at this point we should be able to fly now and i'm just gonna fly straight through there and from here it's pretty much a straight shot of where you gotta go you'll see um all the stalactites and stalagmites all right, and then you're going to come across this one. It's going to have metal bars on it, and this is how you know when you're going the right way. You'll look down towards the right. You'll see some water, and that's the way you want to head. And just keep flying back here. If you can't bring a flyer in here, I'm guessing you're going to need a grappling hook uh, to get up in this little part. So once you get up there, bam, it's, it's right there. So pretty easy, guys. And then just to get out... Just find that, that same thing with the metal bars on and fly straight. You should uh, like see the cave opening where you came in on the right hand side from there. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and grab that and that's the artifact of the cunning. Alright, so for the artifact of the devourer, we're going to want to go to the ocean on the west side of the map right down from blue obelisk and you guys could see that um map location when i first started this video but the grid coordinates are going to be 47.3 lat and 2.3 long and you're gonna have to take a raft or something out here and just drive dive straight down from there all right and we're gonna continue to swim downwards all right and then this is on top of a squid spawn so when you come down here just be careful uh make sure you have uh strong enough tames to be able to clear this area out but you're going to see these two rock formations and the artifact is going to be right in the middle of them and we're just going to continue to swim down here so this one isn't too hard to get to um just gotta have a raft, really. Right, so swimming, 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 and we should see it. It's gonna be like up on this little underwater dock or <laughs> platform, whatever you wanna call it, and that is the artifact of the devourer. So, pretty simple to get to. Oh, I'm running out of air. And I'm dead. So, perfect timing. I actually dove down there with enough oxygen. But yeah, that's gonna be it for this artifact, guys. Alright, so for this artifact, we're going to want to head towards the northwest of the map, up near Blue Obelisk. And then, you'll notice, like, if you follow the coastline from Blue Obelisk, there is a square rock formation and a river right beside it. So if you follow that river upwards until you see, like, this log sitting in the middle of it right by the waterfall, that's where you want to head. And my griffin ran out of stamina, so it's going to take me a little bit to get down. I do apologize. I wasn't paying attention right there. Damn it. Right, so once we land, and I did go ahead and clear out some of the brush so you guys could see this better, but you'll notice the cave entrance is right here. It looks like some Indiana Jones stuff, but the grid coordinates is 18.6 lat and 27.8 long. And there are plenty of, like, poisonous, like, narcotic-type dinos in here, like the scorpions, uh, the titan bows, stuff like that, guys. So you're going to want to bring plenty of armor, some stem berries, um, plenty of grappling hooks are going to come in handy. You're definitely going to need those. 
and once you first get in here there's going to be like these circular um yeah like stones on the ground if you step on those you're going to get like trank arrows shot at you so just be cautious of those and those shoot out of these like statue looking things right here and we're just going to go ahead and breeze through this because i do have it on admin commands so i can't be knocked out um and just be cautious when you are um, coming through here because there are plenty of drop-offs and we don't want to fall down any of them so you're just going to want to head straight and then you're going to come across another one that you're going to have to uh, grapple and hook across and then there are some other plates I believe across from the T-Rex, no, right through there, there should have been more plates that could set off some more arrows, so just be cautious of those. And then right here where the T-Rex is caught in the spider webs, we want to cross this vine. There's plenty of brush around it, so it can be pretty hard to spot. And we're going to want to continue across here. Let me go ahead and pull out the torch. So we're going to want to hook a right now and then go through these cobwebs and continue down this hallway. There's gonna be another vine and a drop location right there. So we're gonna to wanna to cross this vine and just take your time if you need to, no rush. Uh, just make sure you don't fall down. All right, and then crouch down right here and crawl through this little tunnel and head to the left. So we're just going to keep hooking around right there. There's going to be like a spiral staircase. We're going to want to take the spiral staircase all the way down um, through this brush right here. Continue down. Just keep sticking to the left and you'll notice this area right here. Um, and this is where I'm going to enable fly guys and that way I don't risk dying. It's possible through here, you know how ARC and their jump puzzles are, but yeah, this is the jump puzzle part of it, and I'll show you, you'll, you'll be able to see where you can grapple and hook and, and stuff like that to get across, but you're going to want to come over here and hook a left right on this like platform right here, go across this bridge, and this is where you'll need the grappling hooks right here. Um, how you do it is up to you, but you could like do one right there and then over there and then like shoot one over here so it's not that hard if you've had practice with the grappling hook but we're gonna want to go across that bridge once again watch out for that drop right there and now the the enemies are starting to spawn in so we're gonna just want to continue to the right towards that monkey statue and then right across this bridge Right, I'm gonna have to get some of these guys off me really fast. Burn, baby, burn! Burn! You're gonna waste my torch. Oh my god, why are these bats such a pain? I think my torch was like doing more damage. Yeah. No more bats. Okay, so anyways, easily distracted. We're just going to want to jump down. We wasted so much of our torch, but you're just going to want to fall down right there and then continue up this path towards the green crystals. <laughs> and then you'll see another drop location right across there. But up ahead, there's going to be this little cauldron of lava. Be careful not to fall down in there. Just jump across it. You can grab that drop if you want to. There's like a cool little monkey skull on the wall. But there's going to be some more stairs. We're going to start heading down those. And this should pretty much take us to the room we need to be for this artifact. Alright, some more ads right here. Dinos, whatever you want to call them in this game. And then the lava room. So you can jump across right down here over to the there or you can grapple your way across either or works and then this is the artifact of the hunter guys and pretty much to get out of here all you got to do is reverse direction and you're home free so <laughs>
Alright, so for the artifact of the immune, once again, we're going to head to the northern area of the map near Blue Obelisk. If you just want to follow the coastline from Blue Obelisk until you see the castle, and then this bridge going over to the castle, well, this broken bridge, then that's where you're going to need to be. We're going to want to go into the swamp right below me. Um, so yeah, this one's pretty easy to find. And let's go ahead and fly down here. I'll give you guys a GPS coordinates. And we're just going to land right on top of this right here. Alright, so let's get ourselves angled. And this cave entrance is at 21.9 lat and 42 long. Um, so you will need a torch when going through here. And I do have um, cave flyers enabled, so I don't know if you can fly through this cave without that enabled but pretty much it's a straight shot right here you might want to go slow you do um, have a chance of lagging out on console right there so just be advised but it's pretty much a straight shot right now we're just going to keep flying downwards um, being sure to follow this wall to our right and then fly all the way down here once we get down here you're going to hit a little patch of water here and there you just want to go into that room where there are vines and immediately inside that room make a left and go up this hill and then continue to fly straight there's going to be a left and a right you want to go left until you see these mushrooms once you get to the mushrooms you just want to fly through this little cave and then you're going to come across three different choices you can go left towards like the brush or the glowing mushrooms we're gonna want to go right and then immediately hook a left and right here is gonna be the artifact of the immune so pretty easy to get to not too hard um, <laughs> like the labyrinth or everything like that but to get out it's easy you just turn around pretty much reverse your directions um, so we're gonna hug this wall to the left fly up here go through this little cave with the glowing mushrooms ah. Hug the wall to the left once again. And then once we get up here, keep going straight, go right, and hug the wall to the right. Once you're back to this part, it's just pretty much a straight shot back outside, so I'm not going to show you guys that much. Yeah, so that's, that's the artifact of the immune. <laughs> Alright, so for the next artifact, we're going to be heading to the Frozen Dungeon, and this is the artifact of the pack. Anyways, for the cave entrance, you can see here, I'm going to give you guys a look around. Right there is Blue Obelisk. You'll have that little cove right there. And this is at the northwestern kind of part of the map. So we have a few little lakes around there, and then that very distinct mountaintop right there. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and fly down here now. And it's a slow descent, so <laughs> bear with me. And let's get a landing right here. Well, not in a tree, but you know, somewhere close to it. Okay. And for the grid coordinates for this cave entrance, we got 30.9 lat and 37.8 long. And for this part, we do have um, flyers enabled for caves. So I'm, I, I don't know without that if you can fly down in this part. But I know for this whole cave, you can't take a flyer through it. Eventually, we're going to have to come to the ground. But you want to go inside. And then straight ahead, you're going to see like a little ice bridge. As you proceed forward, we're going to see like a large cave opening to the left right there. And you can see it right there. There is a drop um, right over here. So just be advised of that. And we're going to fly over this way. We want to head towards this cave entrance. All right, and then shortly down this cave pass somewhere, we're not going to be able to fly. So you're going to see quite a bit of griffins here where I've been doing this, practicing and whatnot. All right, and let's go ahead. Might as well put it down here. And then we're going to proceed on foot. There are going to be a lot of death worms in these caverns, or ice worms, I should say. So just be cautious of that. Now you're going to come to a wall with a blood stain on it and you got a choice of left or right. You want to take the left path. 
All right, and we're gonna squat right down in here. And there is a way to do this with a parachute, but we're not gonna do that since we're using cheats. I kind of want you guys to see everything. So we're gonna come across a dead body right here. That's just gonna be an indicator that you're going the right way as well as right here. Look, he was trying to get out. I mean, gotta give this guy some props. All right, and then we're gonna fall down this little hole right here. And now down here, after this like little ice cave right here, is going to be where the death worms are at, so just be cautious. Alright, and we're just going to keep going straight, you can see them right there. And then on around here, we're going to go up this ramp. Alright, excuse me, I'm trying to get through here, pardon me. And then you're going to come here, we're going to want to jump down and I believe head to the left now so all right and then down there there is a drop but that's not the room we're going to we're just going to continue heading up straight past all the death worms until we hit this little cave right here all right so once you hit this cave we're just going to keep going straight and up this little hill in front of us and more death worms, so just be cautious of that. I think there's like three of them down here, so just to give you guys a heads up. And then once we get to the end of this, you're gonna come across like a little waterfall. We wanna jump down in here. Ooh, a little bit of lag. All right, so let's jump down in here and pretty much we're gonna want to continue swimming straight. Uh, so you guys can see right there we're heading straight over to the left there will be like a tunnel there's a drop that spawns back there as well it's not dangerous so it's really easy to get I'm just gonna go ahead and skip that for time's sake and then we're gonna come up to this large waterfall now once you jump down here this is the um, ice worm queen's room so you're gonna have to fight her and you can see straight ahead there is a wall that blocks it so unless you kill um, this worm now you, you can't open that area so we're gonna have to kill it and it's it's not gonna take too too long it, it shouldn't <laughs> so we'll go ahead and do this here she is and I'm, I'm using an ascendant assault rifle right now um, and it's gonna take probably around five or six mags I, I, I'd say to kill her uh, I've, I've done this before and it's pretty good drops you get a skin from her and everything else like that but I'm gonna go ahead and clear this real quick guys and then we'll be on to the artifact this cave isn't too horribly long if you know what you're doing and you know where to go but all right come on die. just die I believe um, it also helps to carry a shield. You can block the attacks and just kind of tank her. Um, I think if you survive a certain amount of time, it automatically, like, she'll go away and you can go back through that door. So we got the Deathworm skin and everything. You guys can check that out uh, when you do this. And there are a few drops down here, so let's go ahead and head back towards this back wall, towards this first drop that we've seen. And this is actually going to be the way for the artifact as well. So let's jump across here. And then we're just going to ignore that drop, keep going straight now that that wall is gone. We're just going to head straight down into this room, and this is going to be like where the queen's babies are in the artifact as well I don't think we have to fight any of the babies or there's any guys down here so after you kill the queen you should be pretty good to go alright and then this is the artifact of the pack and let's go ahead and grab that All right, there we go. So to get out of this cave, all we need to do is simply turn around and go out the way we came in. I do think it's pretty cool how like her babies, they, they have a giga right there just waiting to eat whenever they hatch. So <laughs> that's, that's crazy, a giga, man. 
don't want to mess with these guys. Alright, so we're just going to head out here, and then once we get out into the queen's room, we're just going to pretty much like hang a left, and I'll show you guys once we get up here. Alright, yeah, so we want to go this way, and it's going to be like an ice wall, unless I already knocked it down. And that's going to be our way out of here. Ooh. So many jumps. And this place is a little buggy. Um, some areas you clearly can't jump over too good. Um, some other areas you'll actually go inside the rock. But there is a drop location over here. Um, I just wanted to show you guys that really fast. And then we're just going to go back here, kind of towards where we were at, but make a right right here. Now there's usually an ice wall, I guess, where I've done been through here several times practicing for this video. Um, it, it never respawned, but you would have to knock that out. If you continue straight through these corridors, it'll lead you to the exit. Um, it, it's going to be away from your mounts, so just be prepared for that. I'll show you guys really fast uh, what it looks like. We're going to be coming out of a waterfall and kind of into the area to the east of this cave. Um, we're not even going to be in the ice area anymore, so... Okay, and this is pretty much it. We want to jump down inside this water, and of course the lag where we're going to be exiting the cave. Okay, so just jump down in here, and then bam, you're going to swim straight into a waterfall, and this is your exit. Whee! Alright, so that's it for this cave, guys. The Artifact of the Strong is at the northwest corner of the map near the Monkey's Puzzle and I'll give you guys a look around here real fast and you can see the surroundings as usual. And right there is one of the obelisks so we're not too far away from that and then you see this little river down here and the waterfall right down over there. So we're just going to head straight down you'll see like a little light down here and it's a lot easier to see at nighttime, but um going to be doing this in the daytime so we'll land here and then I'll give you guys a GPS coordinates real fast and this is located at 24.6 lat and 25 long and you will need a pickaxe or something you're gonna have to break some stone down here so let's go down inside pretty cool little monkey statues okay well the stones already broken but if it wasn't you can see like right there I kind of smacked something invisible it would be right there so that is the artifact of the strong